Good morning, boys and girls. So today's Friday, and we're going to read a really fun story about lots of different kinds of animals, not just mammals. And I want you to find one of the animals that you really like, maybe draw a picture, find out a little bit more about that animal, and get back to me by next week on Friday. Here's our story. It's called ABC Animal Jamboree, written by Giles Andre. He's the author. What does the author do? author writes the words for the story. Illustrated by David Wojewicz. He is the illustrator. That means he drew all the pictures. So let's read. Hmm. It says ABC. I wonder what that could mean for our story. Find out. Yellow page. A angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. B, boa constrictor. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes and swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. The crocodile. Oh, we learned about crocodiles. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. <gasps> D. Dolphin. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It is not how do you do, as I'd say to you, it's more of a click. Letter comes next. What animal could it be? The elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle just elephanting around. A frog. We may be green and slimy, but I'm sure that you'll agree we're really great at hopping. Can you hop as high as me? G. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. H. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot, and when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. I, iguana. We are both green iguanas. Our bodies are covered with scales. We've also got really cool spines down our backs that run to the ends of our tails. Gay jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. A kangaroo. I'm the bouncy kangaroo. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? And who's inside my pouch? That's right. It's baby Joey holding tight. L lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. What letter? M for monkey. It's great to be a monkey swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's please. And narwhal. The narwhal has a horn like tusk, and so he seems to be the ocean swimming unicorn, a marvel of the sea. Oh, octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. E, penguin. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the slide. Q, Quetzal. 
My tail feathers shimmer in glorious green, and look at my splendid red chest. Of all the most beautiful birds that you've seen, you must admit, I'm the best. Our rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flabby, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Shark! I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. The tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near. But his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. You umbrella bird. My head has a crest of black feathers, so when I look up at the sky and see that it's raining, instead of complaining, I just spread them out and keep dry. The vulture. See me soaring gracefully across the clear blue sky, looking out for tasty treats that catch my beady eye. What's next? What letter? Letter W, the whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the gentle blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Next is the letter X. It's an X-ray fish. We like to swim round in shoals and any food will do us. Oh yes, we're called the X-ray fish, as you can see right through us. Next is letter Y for yak. We live up in the mountains where the land is cold and bare. So to keep us warm and cozy, we grow thick, long, shaggy hair. What's the last one? What do you think it could be? A... I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes, since they make me look handsome and cool. So friends, after listening to the story, I want you to think which animals in this book were mammals. There were a lot of mammals in there. Which animals in this story were reptiles? We learned about reptiles before. Which animals in this book were birds that also hatch from eggs like reptiles? Which animal in the story was your favorite? Which one did you really like? 